Battle for Tripoli escalates as fighting nears Libyan capital. The battle for Tripoli escalated on Sunday as a military assault on the city by the Eastern Libyan military commander Khalifa Haftar led to 21 deaths and nearly 90 injuries, and international calls for calm were ignored. As the fighting neared the capital, the UN issued a plea for a temporary ceasefire to allow the wounded to be evacuated. Hours earlier, the international airport 15 miles south of central Tripoli was a scene of fierce battles after Haftar claimed to have seized control of the area from the UN-backed government of National Accord. Haftar's self-styled Libyan National Army, backed by the United Arab Emirates, is leading a multi-pronged assault on the capital in an attempt to overthrow the Tripoli-based GNA. The death toll issued by the GNA and confirmed by Tripoli hospitals suggest Haftar's hopes of an immediate collapse of the NAS diverse defenses have been dashed. But Haftar appeared in a battle already marked by wildly conflicting claims, the LNA said the defenses of the Tripoli militia were surrendering, but a spokesman for pro-GNA forces announced a counter-offensive against Haftar's forces. The spokesman, Colonel Mohamed Naunu, said Operation Volcano of Anger was aimed at purging all Libyan cities of aggressor and illegitimate forces, in reference to Haftar's fighters. The LNA said it had carried out its first air raid on a Tripoli suburb, defying calls by the international community to halt hostilities. Both sides launched in a fast-moving military situation, Haftar's forces claimed over the weekend to have captured Tripoli's international airport, in the southern part of the city, but this was denied by the GNA and there was fighting there on Sunday. Tripoli's schools were closed for a week and queues formed at petrol stations. The Italian interior and air assault was mounted on military vehicles belonging to the GNA Presidential Council's Naklia camp. It is thought have to, speaking before an EU General Affairs Council in Brussels on Monday, the UK Foreign Secretary, Jeremy Hunt, said he would work every channel to encourage restraint and avoid bloodshed, adding there was no justification for the LNA move on Tripoli. Calls for sanctions to be taken against Haftar were heard for the first time, including from a former UK ambassador to Libya, Peter Millet. Federica Mogherini, the GNA Prime Minister, Fayez al Sarraj, who accused Haftar of treachery, has protested to the French ambassador to Libya, Patrice Duhelin, about the French support for Haftar. On Saturday, May, the US evacuation was the first public acknowledgement that the US had forces in Libya. The US Africa, the US gave no details of the size of the force, or its mission, but said it might be sent back later. In the last three years, footage on social media showed two fast U.S. Navy transport craft maneuvering off a beach in Janzur, in Tripoli's western suburbs, sending up plumes of spray as American forces were ferried from the shore. Air tracking websites show continuing U.S. drone activity over Tripoli, and special forces transport planes regularly shuttle between the western city of Misrata and bases in Italy. Hopes of a truce rest on decisive Western pressure being placed on Haftar's international backers primarily Egypt, Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates to order Haftar to back down. Haftar has been dem- Sarraj faces a choice between either seeking to defend the capital and waiting for international diplomatic pressure to force Haftar to retreat, or instead launching offensives of his own, thereby escalating the war and possibly losing international backing. Haftar's hopes, UN mediators continue to urge a ceasefire, but some think Haftar is unwilling to compromise. He has never been in. Jonathan Weiner, a former US ambassador to Libya, was also scathing about Haftar's methods. Haftar has built patronage networks over a five year period, now strengthened by foreign financial support and military support. His goal has long, despite the clashes, Ghassan Salam, the UN Special Envoy for Libya, claimed that attempts were still being made to hold the National Conference on Libya's future in Gadamese on 14 April 16.